What's up everybody, I'm Duncan Deep, and welcome to my guide on the fastest method to obtain good tempered quests, including tempered elder dragons in Monster Hunter World. I would highly recommend that you get HR 50 before using this method, as it will work after you unlock your HR with the double tempered bezelgers quest at HR 29, but you will be unable to obtain tempered elder dragon quests until hr 50 and since those are the most rewarding quests in the game you do want to be getting them with this method this method gets them very quickly and so you should hold off on using it until you get your hr 50 as you can see from my investigations list here i have lots and lots of very good tempered investigations including several different tempered elder dragon investigations and while it looks like this run shouldn't be able to get you tempered fall hazark kirin or no gigante i can guarantee that i have had all three of those as tempered investigations from this run alone another thing to keep in mind is once you have had an elder dragon investigation while you're out on it you can find more tempered elder dragon pieces that you can then use to add to your investigations so there is a sort of snowball effect once you've used this method for long enough to get enough Tempered Elder Dragon investigations, that they're almost self-sustaining. There are two very easily obtainable pieces of armor that you will want to wear for this run. One is the Hunter's Helm Alpha, which will give you Scholar and Scoutfly Range Up, which are both vital to this. And the other is the Hunter's Legs Beta, which will give you Scent Hound. These skills just make the run more convenient. It is possible without them, but I would definitely recommend them. I also like putting level 4 Botanist and Honey Hunter on, because if I'm grabbing herbs on the way past, why not make the run a little more efficient? You also want to equip the Gilly Mantle, because there is a very rare bird which you can find during this run. Unfortunately, I do not have footage of the bird right now. But if you do, you want to put the Gilly Mantle on in order to capture it in your net, as it is an exceedingly cute pet for your house. As you can see here, I have actually managed to find five of these throughout all of my runs doing this run. And they are super, super cute in your house. They are the rarest pet in the game, and they are definitely worth grabbing if you see them. Alright, with all our preparations in place, it's now time to head out on this run, which I call the Gaimonta Run. I want to give a quick shout out to the Twitch viewer Gaimonta, also known as Gaimi on Monster Hunter World, for discovering this run and showing it to me, because it was an amazing help during the 240 hour livestream when we were trying to get Tempered Elder Dragon quests. To start this run, we're going to head out on an expedition to the Wild Spar Wastes. This is where we're going to find all of our tracks in order to get Tempered quests. At the start, we're going to go to the southwest camp and we're going to head out and jump off the cliff, just like starting any normal expedition. Right at the start, you might find some tempered bezelgers misfired shells. If you don't, don't worry. Not all of the tracks that you see in this video are guaranteed and some of the tracks that you find in your runs won't be in this video as there are a lot of random tracks. Before you approach the Apsaros, take a quick look. If you see tiny fluffy white birds on the back of one of them, you have gotten really lucky. That is the super rare white bird that I mentioned earlier. You want to put your ghillie mantle on, approach very slowly and capture them with your net. Once you've checked for the white birds, you want to head down the slope and grab the Rathian footprints if they are present. Again, these are random and not always here. Because we have Scoutfly range up, we don't have to zigzag along the swamp here. We can just make a beeline through the center and follow any blue Scoutflies that pop up. If blue Scoutflies pop up, do follow them all the way to the end and follow those tracks and then head back to the route. Every single track that you do pick up gives you a chance at an investigation. As you can see, these old Rathian footprints here gave me an investigation. Now, while it might seem that that investigation would just be a Rathian, it's actually completely random and it could be any investigation within the threat level of that track. This is a one star threat level track, so I will have unlocked a one star tempered investigation. After we cross the swamp, we're going to hang a right and head down towards the lower swampy area as we will always find some Juratodus mud either here or on the ledge or by the honey around the cliff. All three of these are one star, but one star tempered investigations are still really good and very good ways of getting good decorations for your armor sets, which is something I will cover in another video. After we've checked those three spots, we're going to open up our map and we're going to fly to the central camp. From the central camp, we're going to head up and out and we're going to hang a right first because if we turn right here, we will often find Baroth footprints. These footprints have given me many, many investigations in the past and are definitely worth grabbing. After that, we're going to head back up the slope 
and we're going to go to two spots. The first of these spots is about a 50-50 chance of having some Baroth mud. And the second spot on the right will always have Baroth mud ready for an investigation. Up in this area, there is another herd of Apsaros. Please do check them for the ultra rare white birds. I've actually only ever found my white birds on this herd, although they are definitely possible to find on both herds. I've just been much luckier with my second herd. Once we've checked both those mud spots, we're going to head up into the desert and all the way across the desert, we're going to find our most important investigation item. That is the old seared Teostra fur. This is a guaranteed spawn of a threat level 3, which is always a tempered elder dragon, drop. Which means that from this fur, you will get all of your elder dragon tempered quests. I tend to get one in 1 in 3 to 1 in 5 runs. So keep going with the runs. They only take a couple of minutes each and they are definitely worth it. After we've grabbed our super important Teostra fur, there are a couple more spots that we want to check to try and get threat level 2 tempered quests. In order to do this, we're going to jump down the hole and head into the Diablos area, the underground Diablos area. At that point, you're going to find one Diablos scratch on the floor of the main area about 50% of the time. We're going to throw on our ghillie mantle after this if we didn't already use it to capture the super cute fluffy white birds, as there is almost always a Diablos in its nest down the slope. If you head down the slope into the Diablos nest, you will very likely find some more black Diablos old scratches on the floor in the nest ready to give you another investigation. In this run, as you can see, I actually gained a threat level 2 investigation from those Diablos scratches, so we actually managed to get two tempered investigations on this run, one 1 star and one 2 star. Once we've done that, we're going to head back to Astera to check our new investigations. Checking the spoils from the run we just did, we got two new investigations. One is our threat level 2 investigation, and that is a capture investigation for a Black Diablos, which is awesome because it actually had four reward slots. These reward slots will guarantee you either decorations or weapon augmentation stones. The other investigation which we unlocked from a Rathian footprint is a hunting investigation for an Anjanath with three rewards. So as you can see, the Rathian footprint gave us an Anjanath investigation, so it isn't locked to the monster that you found tracks of. These tempered investigations are the only way to get the augmentation shards needed in order to improve your weapons and armor beyond their final stage. Threat level 1 investigations will only give you augmentation stones that can be used to upgrade your armor. Threat level 2 investigations will give you armor augmentation stones, decorations just like threat level 1, but they'll also give you rare 6 weapon augmentation stones that can be used to upgrade weapons beyond their final point. Finally, in order to get the rarity 8 weapon augmentation stones, which can be used for upgrading the very best weapons in the game, you're going to need to be taking on the Elder Dragon Tempered Investigations. These are the rarity 3 or threat level 3 ones that you get from picking up that Teostra fur during this run. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that it helped you get your Elder Dragon Investigations and and get your final maxed out tempered weapons. If it helped, please let me know in the comments down below. I will be back with more tips, tricks, and end game help for Monster Hunter World for you guys in the future. But until then, I'll see you next time.